what is energy energy is defined as the ability to do work or the capacity of an object to do work there are different types of energy are different forms of energy like chemical energy potential energy kinetic energy heat or thermal energy sound energy light energy electrical energy and mechanical energy i will discuss each and every type of energy now what is kinetic energy kinetic energy is defined as the energy possessed by a body due to its motion it means that kinetic energy is associated with the movement or motion of objects remember that by the motion of objects we mean the motion of large objects for example a body is moving on the road then we say that this body possesses kinetic energy kinetic energy only exists when a body is moving once the object comes to rest its kinetic energy becomes zero for example if one car is moving and another car is at rest then the car moving possesses kinetic energy because this car is in motion or this car possesses velocity while the other car is at rest hence his velocity is zero and its kinetic energy will also be zero therefore from this example we learn that kinetic energy directly depends on the motion of an object or on the magnitude of velocity when motion or velocity is zero kinetic energy will be zero now let me give you examples of kinetic energy for example a moving aeroplane has kinetic energy a cricket ball thrown up has kinetic energy a golf ball moving has kinetic energy a car traveling across the road possesses kinetic energy so anything which you see in motion i can't see like electron but if they are in motion they possesses kinetic energy what is potential energy we define potential energy as the energy possessed by a body due to its position or configuration in a force field by force field we mean like gravitational field electric field or nuclear field etc as we know that when we raise an object above the earth surface this body possesses gravitational potential energy it also means if you change the position of an object in gravitational field vertically the body will gain gravitational potential energy similarly a mass attached to a compressed or straight spring then this mass possesses elastic potential energy now let me give you another example if an aeroplane is moving above the earth surface at a particular height is this aeroplane possesses kinetic energy or potential energy well the aeroplane possesses both kinetic energy and potential energy we learn that when an object is moving it possesses kinetic energy here the aeroplane is moving hence it possesses kinetic energy we also learn that when an object gain a certain height in a gravitational field it also possesses gravitational potential energy hence the flying aeroplane above the earth possesses both kinetic energy and potential energy now what about chemical energy chemical energy is defined as the energy released or absorbed during a chemical reaction for example the food we eat contains chemical energy 
في مية كيميكال انرجي اند كالوريز فور اكزامبل ذا ايس كريم وي ايت كونتين 145 كالوريز اوف انرجي ذا ابل وي ايت كونتين 72 كالوريز اوف انرجي ذا بناناز وي ايت كونتين 105 كالوريز اوف انرجي also there are other objects which possesses chemical energy like the dry cells or batteries which we use in torch cars or in other machineries now what is heat or thermal energy we know that hot object possesses more heat than cold objects heat energy usually come into existence when you burn something like coal or wood we measure heat energy in calories can you define calories well one calorie is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 g of water by 1 degree centigrade remember that one calorie is equal to 4.2 joule Early in this lecture, I told you that we also measure chemical energy in calories, and now we learn that we also measure thermal energy in calories. Then, what is the difference between calories of chemical energy and calories of heat energy? Well, we write the calories of chemical energy with a capital C, while we write the calories of heat energy with a small c. The heat calorie is a very small amount of energy while the chemical energy calorie is much bigger than heat calorie in fact 1 food calorie is equal to 1000 heat calorie hence we often write it as 1 food calorie is equal to 1 kcal it means that 1 food calories is equal to 1000 heat calories now what about sound energy sound energy enables us to either communicate or hear each other when we speak or we listen someone we all produce sound energy we already know that sound energy is produced by vibrations now what is light energy light energy helps us to see things or we can see in our surrounding due to light energy can you see when there is no light at night well it is because that there is no light energy or no light at night there are different sources that produce light energy for example stars sun and bulbs Remember that moon doesn't produce light energy moon reflects the light of sun at last what is electrical energy life without electricity is not possible in modern age it is because that our maximum machineries either at our home or anywhere across the globe run on electrical energy for example you wouldn't be able to use your cell phone laptop tv etc if there is no electrical energy we receive electrical energy from the nearby power station through electric cables or electric wires at home we convert this electrical energy into many other forms of energy like light energy sound energy heat energy etc If you have learned something new in this video then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures thank you very much for watching this video